Hello, my name is Richard Capone, and today I'm going to be showing you our differentiated instruction product called LGL Math Edge. Like all our Edge series products, they are built upon our diagnostic assessments. So for the LGL Math Edge, students must first complete an Atom K7 math assessment. Looking at the screen before you, we are looking at a class's Atom K7 results. Students were tested across five major math strands, numbers and operations, measurement, data analysis, geometry, and algebraic thinking. Now if we take a look at one of these strands, such as numbers and operations, we see that they are broken down into detailed subtests. Each of these scores corresponds to an individual instructional point associated with a specific math skill. This detailed testing is carried out throughout all five strands, which translates to about 44 subtests in K7 mathematics. Now that these students are done with their assessments, let's click on the LGL Math Edge tab. Students who have completed an assessment show up here. LGL Math Edge is different from our other Edge series products. LGL Math Edge is made up of five leveled courses with instructional levels that range from K to 7. In the course placement, we see that the recommended course level in which Adam K7 recommends placement. For those students who have tested out of the highest level, we would see a not recommended in the same column in red. Within each course, students are assigned only the lessons that they need. I can illustrate this by clicking on a change link. If we examine Leon, we see that based on assessment completed on June 13th, these are Adam's recommended placements. Scrolling down, we see checkboxes next to the lessons that are recommended or been assigned by the teacher. When the teacher or parent is ready, he or she clicks on the enroll button and then instruction can begin. The teacher or parent can override Adam's recommendation and click on any of the courses to enroll. Let's take a look at Tony now. We see that he is enrolled in Math Edge 3. He has completed lessons up to level 10. If we click on the report link, we can go ahead and see what he's actually done. This report provides a breakout of the lessons as well as scores and time on task. This graph would change as Tony completes more lessons, you would see more data points. Also, when Tony goes back to redo lessons in order to get the scores up higher, you would see a separate bar graph, or excuse me, you would see a separate graph as well that overlays on top of the blue one. If we want to review or adjust Tony's assignments, we can do so by going to the Edit View link in the Student Log column. On this page, we see that lessons are assigned. I can easily adjust these lessons by either unchecking boxes or checking boxes. You'll also notice that in this uh, view, you also see the time on task as well as which lessons were completed. In terms of student access, students can log in with their own login and password, and on their activity page, Math Edge will show up after the student has been enrolled. Or a teacher or parent can launch Math Edge directly from this page by clicking on the Continue link. Now let's go ahead and take a look at a lesson. There are three dogs in the park. Two more join them. How many dogs are in the park? Let's count them all together. One, two, three, four, five. We added three plus two equals five. Addition is bringing together two numbers to make a bigger number. The sign for addition is a plus sign, and the answer goes after the equal sign. Let's do some more. Two little birds sitting in a tree. Another bird joined them in that tree. Two little birds, let's count them all together. One, two, The initial part of any lesson which you just saw is explicit instruction teaching a concept using engaging interactivity and songs. The next part transitions into a gaming-like environment where students must get 100 points while maintaining a high level of accuracy. If they answer a question incorrectly, they are given feedback with the correct answer. All of the Edge series encourages students to attain a bronze, silver, or gold certificate. Students can go back and review lessons in which they had less success 
in order to get themselves up to the silver or gold level. These certificates provide a great way for teachers or parents to incent students to do better. Let's go ahead and do a few. Good adding! Fill in the number sentence and press go. Let's go ahead and get one incorrect. Oh, not quite. Count one, two brown dogs, plus one, two, three, four black dogs. Altogether, there are one, two, three, four, five, six dogs. Two plus four equals six. Count each object, then count them all together. And then you'll see after we got that one answer incorrect, our percent correct went down and we didn't get any points. But students would proceed until they get 100 points and they have an accuracy, a minimum of 75%. All right, hopefully you get the idea. You see that uh, the lessons are very engaging. Um, they use a lot of songs, they use engaging graphics. Uh, a lot of times math concepts are very hard to describe with words, but by using graphics and animations it becomes a lot easier. For schools or other le learning organizations, I'd like to encourage you to sign up for a free LGL Math Edge trial. Thank you very much for watching this virtual tour.